Welcome to a Dungeons and Dragons podcast, Adventures of the Sword Coast, with Azariah Nerikurel, um, Elf Cleric, Sephion, uh, Asimar Paladin, Dimus the Trickster, a Half Elf Warlock, and Draco Amethius, a Dragonborn Ranger, and myself as the DM. Dan. Enjoy Chapter 10 Gundren's Demise. Since Azorea and Gwath have left the group, they were depending on the excellent tracking skills of Draco to find Cragmar Castle, which they did find eventually. They investigated the castle and decided to sneakily enter the castle early in the morning of the next day. Which uh, success they found the Goblin King and Drow Elf, which turned out to be a doppelganger. Working for the Black Spider, and they found Gundren Rockseeker. After releasing an owlbear, which was locked up by the goblins into the castle, they ran away with Gundren and the captured doppelganger. And it turned night, and at camp they started to interrogate the doppelganger, but he did not inform them about anything new, in which they killed him by throwing him in the fire. And then they went to sleep, probably with not that good of a clear conscience, except for Sephion, maybe. Chapter 10 Sephion, Daimos, Draco and Gundren are fast asleep at their campsite, a bit more than an hour away from Cragmar Castle. Everything is quiet except for some noises in the bushes from animals that call the forest their home. Suddenly, Sephion wakes up, finds himself not in a camp. Instead, he is standing in what looks like a giant ballroom. The ballroom is wide enough to hold hundreds of guests. Vases of fresh yellow flowers nestle in recesses lining the western and eastern walls. Above, an enormous crystal chandelier looms, its grandeur clearly visible with the candles lit. The red tiled floor, veined with a bloody patina, is tinted silver by the moonlight, seeping in through the tall windows behind you. Stone pillars stretch up to the ceiling, the ca <laughs> candelabras at their bases winking like sprites in the dark. On both sides, in front of every pillar, you notice hooded figures, from which you can't see their faces. You look ahead, and you see on the far end of the ballroom stairs that lead up, and on those stairs, the same hooded figures. But on top of the stairs, you see a familiar face. It's your lady of the night. She looks at you, smiling. You hear a voice in your head, and it's her voice. And she asks you to come forward and to kneel down at the bottom of the stairs. I look around, Safian. Oh. Safian looks around, walks to the front, and quickly goes down on his knees. Says, my lady, I've been trying to please you so bad. So as you I make your way towards the stairs, you notice that the tile darkens to a dusty burgundy, rich as wine. Bright red lines create a pattern of roses, with the foot of the staircase pressing into them as gently as a shoe slipping into a meadow. As you near the staircase, however, you see the design in the center is a different a brazen, skeletal grin. The hooded figures are looking at you for as far as you know, and Lady Shar is uh, looking down upon you and smiling. What do you do? Yeah, I, He's I'm, just I'm smiling. Just... You just went forward to her. I look and uh, yeah, well, I'm a man. I, she's a god, so I mean, I don't dare to speak. I just keep looking down and wait for her to say something. Oh. So she looks down at you. She smiles. She's like, "Welcome, welcome to what I call my visitors' ballroom, and only the highest, highest of." Guests that I appreciate will be able to step into this realm of mine. 
It looks amazing. My dear Stefion, I am so proud of you. Can you recall what, what you did last night? Of course, of course, my lady. I have not only tortured, uh, presumably, at least not uh, let me know evil person, but I have also corrupted my fellow travelers into joining me into this ritual of corruption. Exactly. So not only you achieved the best that I would like, which is suffering of those who deserve it, but also making your friends help you in this amazing, fantastical ceremony that happened yesterday. And I paid close attention to putting feet in fire, healing and do it all over again cutting off fingers, letting it scream, poking out eyes two times, three times. Very proud of you. Very, you, you made your woman very happy. So nonetheless, I hope that you would still like to continue this path and please me, because in history it has proven you please me. There are many greater things that I could do back for you. Of course, and I just want to battle everybody who deserves it and make the people who deserve it suffer like we have suffered in the Great War. All right, Sefion, so how about lying? I don't lie. And what about people who do lie? What is your feeling about people that lie and deceive? Nobody should lie. I am very righteous, I am very honest, and people who lie cannot be trusted. So how come that you are in a party that is consisted of two that lie and deceive? Excuse me? Uh, there is I, a I... dwarf in your company right now. He lied and deceived you. You have no idea what he lied about? No, can you... Um, if you could do anything in return, I would like, please, to you know, anything you can help me about this dwarf. He employed me, he's the reason that we're here, and I always got the feeling that he's just... So, we've made, we've... what about your friend, the half-elf? You trust this one? Yes. He saved my life once. And you think he is 100% honest with you? And that he's not lying or deceiving you? Not that I am aware. You should... You should not trust everybody on their loving face. That they save your life does not mean that they are not lying to you or deceiving you. Or even maybe trying to steal from you. Anyways, the dwarf that you have in your company right now, what was the main purpose of you going to save him? A map. And did you find this map? Uh, uh, he said he found a map, but I think it was coded because to me it was just a letter. Which means he lied and deceived you, didn't he? He said he didn't. He did. He said there was a map and he know the way. But basically, from the start on, you don't know more than what you did before you left for the casting. Could you give us any direction, my lady? The only thing the I'm going to give to you, my dear, sweet, beautiful Sephion, I would like you to put your great axe in front of you, please. I take out my great axe and I kneel and I keep it with two hands, horizontal, while I bow my head down. All right. And you 
she lifts up her hands in the air and at that point your great eggs start floating up and darkness s starts surrounding your great eggs and it starts twisting in the round and you feel that there's strength and power being boomed into the great eggs and after that moment she put her arms back down and the great eggs slowly carefully is being put in front of you again. <clears throat> Tefion, I have given your great ex more strength for now. And uh, which means it's now a magical item of plus one. Thank you, my lady. Yes. Please enjoy this great power that this great ex has for you. And it's going to be valid for the next 48 hours from the moment you wake up. Thank you, my lady. If you would like to keep this power, kill the dwarf. And the weapon will be forever magical and strong. If you do not succeed to kill the dwarf in the next 48 hours, the weapon will go back to its normal strength. Thank you, my lady. I think we both know what needs to be done right now. Yes, my lady. Then go, Sefion. Wake up. And at that moment, everything gets dark. Everything. And you wake up in the morning in the campsite where Draco and Daimon and Gundren are still fast asleep. What do you do? Um, all right, okay. so Sefion, uh, you see that they are all asleep, but Drax is uh, next to uh, Draco, uh, not asleep. Yeah. So uh, I uh, uh, quickly eat something, and then uh, while I'm eating, putting something in my mouth, I undress. I make like a circle here in front of the campsite i'm gonna sit in it completely naked and i'm gonna uh, meditate while i use my uh, divine uh, so i have a better connection to to process what i've just seen all right <clears throat> and then yeah i'll just do that till uh all right. A little bit later. And then um, slowly the rest is uh, is waking up. I'll leave it up to you who wakes up the first. Gondrin is so tired, is so done for, he's still fast asleep. You even can hear the snoring in the background. Oh, I'm alright. I slowly open up my eyes and uh, realize we're in the camp away from the keep. So, yeah. Um, I see Sefian sitting at the fire, and uh, so I just sit up and say, Good morning, Sefian. See if he responds. Yeah. Which he doesn't. He doesn't. No. Then I just look around, I look to Draco. I see. I'm still he, fast asleep. He's still fast asleep, so um, I'm just gonna sit right next to Sefian in quiet. I leave him meditate, and I'm gonna eat my rations. All right, everybody falls asleep. Uh, Daimos, could you do a perception check? Uh, I could. Yeah. Seven. Seven. All right. So the fire in front of you uh, is uh, nicely crackling, and uh, it kind of maybe a bit hypnotizes you, the fire and the warmth and everything. But for the rest, uh, you don't hear see anything oh shit that okay. doesn't have to be oh shit uh, for now oh okay, maybe you would like uh, to do a perception check for Drax that would be nice oh I would say if he doesn't wake up I'm gonna wake up but that depends on Bergy if he's gonna stay sleeping I'm gonna wake up uh, I'm gonna come out of meditation let's I let's do a it. perception check for for, Dra uh, for uh, Drax yeah let me 
check sections. Uh huh. Uh huh. I rolled a 12. I can't see if it has extras or something. All right, yeah. Um, so Drax is uh, just walking around and basically not... Uh, not nothing. What, is, uh, oh, what are you doing, Bergy? Um, sorry. Oh, Draco is still, uh, still sleeping. He trusts okay. his brother to protect him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so then I come out of uh, meditation and... I look to the right of me and I see uh, Demas sitting and I say Demas I said I've told you that I have a special connection to the gods or to a god I have just met her and I have found out that her dear friend not Draco, but our dear employer has not been speaking the truth to us. Oh, what, and what did she say? What what has he been withholding from us? I have been giving the holy assignment, and I show him my axe to judge Gondwan because. We have an important job to do, and he almost got us killed. That's what our lady said. And uh, he's lying about us, about the map. He doesn't have a map. That's a letter with, with dips. They don't know shit. They just heard a rumor. And all this stuff that has been happening didn't have to happen because he doesn't have a map. He probably doesn't even have, to have the finances to pay us. He's a deceiver and a liar, and because of him, we almost got killed. That I don't like. Um, we should definitely hear him out when he wakes up. And if uh, I don't kill him within the next 48 hours, something terrible is gonna happen. Okay. Can I suggest that um, whatever you try, at least first try to get more information out of him? No, definitely no. But I, I mean, I have, I trust you guys, and I know I can trust you because my lady said there's two people who cannot be trusted, and you are not one of them. So, and I also wanna wake up Draco. Uh, but yeah, let's break with the situation, and I slowly wake go to him and I gently say Draco, Draco, while I gently grab him. Where the hell am I? Oh, sh yeah, it wasn't a dream. What's up, Zephyon? And I look into the fire if I see a charred body there. Oh shit, it really wasn't a dream. No, it wasn't a dream, but he got what he deserved. Well, this is not how I usually work. I don't know what happened to me, but... Yeah. Something got over me. It, it's okay. It's, uh, it's good. But uh, I look and I show my axe. Uh, I told you I have a special connection to the god. I've been visited by that god. And I've uh, been given an assignment by this god. Alright. Um, first of all, I have been deceived. We have been deceived. Like the dwarf over there. Uh, there is no map. And uh, he probably doesn't even have the money to, to pay us, so we're gonna have to find that out. But uh, the, the, the letter is actually letter. It's not a coded map. He doesn't know shit. So, uh, um, we have an important job to do, a mission to do, that's what the god told us. And he almost got us killed and he needs to be punished for this. So I've been given the assignment to kill him within the next 48 hours. And then this weapon will be forever more powerful. Or if not, something will ha terrible will happen to me. 
if I may be so bold, may I ask who your god is or goddess? She's called the goddess of the night. Okay. So we have to kill. Can we? And it has to be uh, within 48 hours, you said, right? Yes. Can we just. Maybe he can lead us to where this supposedly map should be. If he says it's more than three days away, then his fate is doomed. But if it. If it's within 48 hours, we can always kill him, like, in 47 hours. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah 47 hours is, is fine, but I don't want something terrible to happen. And, no, no. Uh, I, I really need to do what my goddess wants. She has given us this insight, and maybe she will help us more. Uh, but he was lying to us, so... But well, how do I you... mean... Well, okay, I'm not saying your god is, is wrong or something, but... There are, like... Gods that trick you. I'm not saying yours, so please don't get mad at me. No, but she's the god of that, the goddess of that. So she's also known by the name Shah, and uh, she is harsh, but she she doesn't lie to me. She never has. She has saved my ass many times, mm. and I w I really need to yeah, but. That's, I, I have an idea, so he has seen everything I did yesterday, mm -hmm. so I think he might be more willing to talk than the doppelganger, so um, my gotta, idea... Hmm? I can't put feet in the fire again, I have to rethink what I've done yesterday, it's not, not how I work usually, I don't know what happened, it came over me, I'm not proud of what I've done. But I can't torture the dwarf. But he doesn't have to know that. Ah, uh, you want me to act like I'm gonna... No, oh. that like I am gonna. I'm gonna stand there, take my axe out, and say nothing. And Demas and you... Well, you got good cop and bad cop. And then there's me. I mean, uh, and after uh, yesterday, I think he must be... I know yeah. what to do. I'll be the good cop. You be the bad cop. Demas, you be the bad cop. I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, okay. Um. So how are you gonna wake him up? I think. Uh, I think. Oh wait. I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll wake him up. Gundren was his name, right? Gundren, wake up! Gundren. Uh, what? Oh, hello, hello. Oh, I had the most. Horrible dream that I would. Uh, your I day's would... gonna be more horrible, man. Believe me. Team is here. But why? Team is just trying to. Well, he needs to have information, or he's gonna kill you. And I'm here to just help Ooh, who's you. Who's gonna out, kill okay? me? What? What? Damus. Damus is, 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 is gonna awake? kill me. Is he awake? Huh, and I run towards the no, door. No, no, stop, 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 and I'll oh, no. just act like I'm stopping him. <laughs> like, oh. no, get, get away! Run, what you. is going on? What, what happened in the last? Nice. He thinks what? you're lying about the map, Gundred. Please tell the truth. I can't hold him. He's so too strong. That map. Show us. Show us how that's map. Because I don't, I don't have you. any map. You have the map. Uh, you let the freaking map, Gundred. You know something. I don't have any map. The yeah, map please the map tell was him. I can't hold him any longer, Gundred. Oh, you lying, guys. guys. I'm so. Wait, wait. I, here's the map. Are you talking no. about the piece of paper. I mean, that's the map, Demons. Get it. Here, Demas, and I'm, okay. I'm gonna say... Gunner, please uh, tell him the truth, man. I can't yeah. hold him any longer. It's your life, man. Explain to us. Now. There's the map. We risk our life for you, lives for you. It's... It, it, okay, it's not... Uh, it's not a map as a map as a map, but the map is like... It, if you solve the riddle, you know where to go, so it's kind of a map, right? I didn't lie to you. It, you just interpreted wrong what kind of map it was about. Tell him. I can't hold him no, any longer. I am telling you. I'm not you. lying. This is the map. That we're, this is the map. The map. Then explain. But what do you Where? want me to explain? My brothers no. went there. They knew. Ex they knew it. And explain the riddle. They sent me this map. I don't know the answer. So okay, then then convince me why I'm protecting you against this murderous. Demus. You need to ask this murderous Demus. 
No, I'm, I'm, you have to explain me like, why I'm protecting you. But you said you don't know the answer, but the, last night in the castle, you said this is the map. We have nowhere to go to. I know where it is. Well, I know where the map is. I don't know the answer to this. Andre, I can't hold back demons, but if Sifio comes close, I, I can't help you. Please, no. Help, help. No. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't lie. I, 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 I maybe make you think that that was a map, but this is the, this is the only thing that I know, and... Tell us everything you know. My now. brothers have, have lost. My brothers... I can't hold back both of them, Gundren. How long does it, does it take you for us to get there, where the map leads us? Alright. My brothers uh, told me that they have... My brothers long, are Gundren? lost. I can't can you let them fucking both. speak? You stupid fucking dragon! <laughs> All right, let him speak. Back off, Sephion Timers. Give the man some space. All right, all right. So I have, I have two brothers. And these two brothers, they disappeared. They disappeared while they were searching for the Wave Echo Cave. And, and this is what they sent to me because they were scared that it was going to get in the wrong hands. So I received this, and together with Sildar, we went to Fandalin to see if we could find someone to solve the riddle, but we've been ambushed. And they took it, and everybody thinks that this is the map, but it basically is a map, because if you solve it, you know where to go. So, okay, I don't have the answer, I don't know where the cave is, I don't have a... I'm just trying to find my brothers, and solving the riddle could take me there. I'm so sorry I misled you, but there's no reason to kill me. That's just a horrible idea. I've seen what you've done with the doppelganger. You three are the most horrible creatures I've ever met in my life. And I'm, I'm almost... So now. I'm grappling him. What did you just call me? Well, uh, you're grappling, so we we'll do a strength throw. Which I'll do with disadvantage, because he is weak as fuck. 19 plus 5, 24. Hmm. Well, we go I'll lift, him. Him, lift the dwarf okay. up. Uh, what did you just call me? While he is lifted up, I quickly take out my dagger and I slice his throat. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> while, while he's hanging here, while, while he's lifted up. There's nothing As I can do about that or no, anybody. Me As he does that, I'll, I'll drop the dead body like, What the hell, Sephion? He was trying to talk. Man, what the hell is Jesus Christ! That was not cool. Come on, like... Sephion! <laughs> he... No, seriously, he called... <laughs> did you hear what he called us? He lied, he admitted... He admitted to the lying, he deceived us. He was bust saying he was just poor and looking for his brothers. So no money, no map. We have he a never riddle. Said he, was, he never said he was poor. He was looking for his brothers. I would look for my brothers. You know what? Now we have no more lead. Okay, there's only one thing to do now. We have to go back to the castle. I'm uh, seriously. Uh, uh, wait, I'm wait, just, wait, Jimmy, I'm, I'm gonna inspect the body and like investigate if he has like clues on his body. Wait, maybe he has something on his body. J Jesus Christ, Sephion, control your daggers. <laughs> Might as well go back to Neverwinter. <laughs> no, seriously, guys. Uh, I told you, no. If I wouldn't have done this in 48 hours. And now, how, you know how, how long, long 48 hours is? <laughs> it's not 48 seconds! Jesus, this guy's been awake for four, four minutes and you slit his throat. Give the man some breathing room. Uh, he, was, he, was, he, was, he, he was trouble. He lied, he deceived, and he called us... Uh, he called us horrible persons. I agree with you there, but I thought you were... Wait, 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 I'm gonna stand here. Yeah. Effian, you're a horrible person. You gonna slit my throat now too? No. No, seriously, guys, you, you. I never, never would do anything to my fellow soldiers, my fellow travelers. We've played together, we sleep together, we eat together, and you can trust me. But I really, I mean, you can, you, can, I go with you all the way. But I can tell you this: don't lie and really don't deceive me, especially if me or my friends' lives are on the line when being deceived, because then. You need to be punished. Yeah, uh, I see what you do. You poke out eyes. Just trying to hold the dwarf up and you just came behind him and slit his fucking throat. The blood's on my fucking shirt. I thought 
of the plan. I'm sorry. I thought you had. I, I thought you did it. 47 hours. 47 I, hours. You have after 40. You did 47 seconds. I thought you gave me the side. What? What kind of side is that? Cause now I, I want to know. I, I I lift him up and you slit his throat. I thought that was like what you were. I'm looking at David. Yeah. Like, did, did I? Did I? No, I, no, this was uh, just, yeah, I, I thought thought you were a little bit smarter, uh, Sefjan. I mean, I don't judge, I don't disagree with you. You had to do this. I know, I believe you, I trust you, but a little too fast, like, really. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's wait. done, it's done. Wait, wait, no, no, it's not. I found something in the castle. <laughs> well, I, uh, wh what did you find? I got a scroll of her. I can revive it with the scroll. Do you really want to use the scroll? You know, seriously, you want to use your only scroll on a guy that deceived us and needs to die anyway? Well, technically, you killed him, so you're, you you completed your mission. If I re resurrected, you already completed your mission. You did nothing wrong in your God's name. Uh, right? Okay. That uh, sounds logical, but is there any point in... in is well, he maybe he does have information. We didn't even no. know if he had information. Man was trying to talk, and then Sefiano no, here. No, he was not talking. Talking. No, see, but like seriously, he doesn't know shit. Else he would have told at that moment. He just said he was looking for his brothers, and he doesn't know the answer. What else do you want of him? Well, I mean, he can tell you lots, but not what we want to know. He's not a fighter but, like you, Sefiano. But I can but, understand but if, if like he wakes just... up three. Big dude standing right in front of him. One is trying to protect him, two is trying to kill him. I would be, if I was him, not me of course, but if I was him, I would be scared as well. Listen, but if the, there's just one small calculation error here, if he didn't know anything more than that, then he didn't lie. Yeah. What? Look at the charred body. I would be scared. Look at this, and I poke with the helmet in the charred body and the the yeah, fire. We I did this. I would. Look where we slept! This is crazy! This is all crazy! <laughs> if, he, if he, honestly, if he had no more information than he gave us, then your goddess was wrong, Sefian. No, because then she was true, because he, A, he didn't know about, he didn't have a map. He confessed. He confessed it was a riddle, not a map. He confessed exactly. he was wrong. Exactly. Well, does that mean slitting throats? Like... No, okay, well, maybe, well... If you put it like this, then okay. Next time I will, I will, I will uh, not do it this fast, okay? Without any, I, I, I really thought you gave me the sign. I'm not joking here. So uh, next time I will literally wanna... like verbally communicate a little bit more. Is that is that an idea? I'll not. Well, oh, not when like yeah okay slid the throat. Okay. No, okay, so next time if you're not, I'll you know, slit the throat. No, Sephion, and and now Demis can't hear me. I can speak you in this way. That's even better. No one's gonna hear me talk to you, and I can talk to you now. <laughs> I did it telepathically. So I don't even need to know. This is uh, the okay. sign. Okay, and so I say aloud. So next time you just. Talk to me like this, or get, or give me the nod. The nod is also fine. No, 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 no. Maybe I sneeze and I accidentally nod my head, and you start slitting throats everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get that in, but <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so verbal so. communication or in head communication, but at least like in words. Yeah, I'll just slit his throat. That's the code, okay? Slit his throat. Okay, that... okay. But, but anyway, yeah, well. Uh, uh, yeah, what's done is done, and I... We can do it over, if you want me to use the scroll. It's, it's nah. really expensive. Not, no, no. Uh, save the scroll for uh, if, if anything happens to one of us, I'd say. So I take the body and I throw it in the fire. Wait, 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 let me investigate the body oh, oh, first. Oh, it's oh. already in the uh, fire. <laughs> oh, you dumbass. Maybe he has jewels or something. Oh, come like, no, on. <laughs> well, the jewels won't burn. So. I'll, I'll try to kick it out, but I never, I'll just... Never mind. We, we can search the ash if the fire is out for coins and jewels. Yeah, no, for maps. Luckily, maps don't burn, Sefian. <laughs> yeah. If somebody no, I... ever would find this camp, they have no idea what's, what what has happened to this yeah. because they find like a doppelganger. No, I, people, <laughs> dwarf. Uh, 
Wow. Seriously, uh, a little bit of respect for the burning. Come on. I mean, everybody. Oh, really? <laughs> and, and I'm going to do a little, I'm going to pray in, uh, to Shah that he received his soul and can punish him more for the deception that he's done to me. But I do this in celestial so they don't understand. And at that point, you feel the great axe. Uh, is your great axe on your back or or she? Uh, it was on my back, but now I yeah stand with it in the front because I know it has a special connection to her, so I hold it in front of me. All right, so you see that uh, it uh, comes this blackish, purple corner glow coming off of this great axe right now, and the um, black light, if you can say it like that, is circling around your great X and it lifts up in the air, turns around again, and from now on your great X is completely black. Okay. Well. But it is a magical item, plus one, forever. That's good. Well. Diamond, Diamond. Yeah. I don't know what the mission was with this uh, the other dude that was lost in the woods, right? Did he say dead or alive? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wanted him alive. But he didn't say it, right? He didn't say it, no. I'm kicking out the dwarf out of the fire. <laughs> Did he <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, I didn't <laughs> let Sefion do strength deck, so, so you succeed. Yeah, so he, he, he's... Uh, I'm trying to kick burned. out the fire, so, so like he's still, you can still see his gun run a bit. A bit, yeah. The hair is uh, very much uh, burned away, and the beard is almost burned away. Right. There's no clothes. You see a, a black little penis uh, hanging there. Uh, I tell Diamonds, all right. So we find this this dude in the forest, right? We'll tell him we found Gundren. Gundren is dead when we found him. We're not saying Sephion slit stroke, but we'll we'll lead him to it. He pays. If he doesn't pay, I'll nod to Sephion, and he knows what to do. <laughs> yep, we can blame the goblins. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's it. God damn, Zephion. So guys, but w w one thing first. Sh shall we, because I'm looking at the castle, and I really want to go back to the castle. Like, there's no more clues at all right You're now. You're looking into the, di sorry to interrupt you, the direction. Yeah. You're like an hour away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An hour? You can see an hour, maybe? No? Our walking is not Quite a dense forest. forest. Okay, that's cool. I can't see it. Like, yeah, <laughs> three, three kilometers in forest-ish. That's a lot. Okay. St still, I want to. <laughs> okay, shall we go? Shall we go to the castle and uh, pick pick his um, remains up later on? Well, well, we know where this camp is, so we go back to the we go back to the castle. Then we go back where we found the 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 sign of uh, Mr. Lost. Then we try to track him down, go back here, and then we show him this. He pays us. He doesn't pay us. Well, don't blame me that the fire has three bodies in it. You know what I mean? What's coming? What's... You have a weird... Con what did you do to me, Sephia? I was never this evil. What did you do to me? <laughs> People, I'm, I'm, I'm evil, and I, I don't think you should say evil. I mean, evil is a broad spectrum. I mean, I think we're just... Adapting to a more violent world, and I, I. <laughs> I like how he brings this. That's yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> very persuasive. Yeah, don't even have to <laughs> roll persuasion for that. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Adapting to a cruel world. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, but that's my character's not evil, he really believes, I mean that in the eyes of normal it might not be, but he truly believes he's doing the righteous thing. Well he's trying to, he's convincing <laughs> me. What, what, did Sephion now just talk about himself? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, that was a little bit out of character. Alright, 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 sorry. I'm really sorry. Good. Uh, so, cancel it is. Yep, let's go. So, don't start slitting throats, okay, Sephion? <laughs> just, just wait a second before. Meanwhile, Drax is uh, sitting down, just looking from Draco to Sephion with a very confused face, as far as a Drake can, can look confused. It's not really. <laughs> there's no idea what's going on. 
it's okay, and I'll pet him. Like, I don't know what's happening to me, Drex. It'll be fine. And you pack up your bags, you roll your back roll, look back, is anyone gonna put off the fire, or does nobody want to uh, stamp down on the body that is in there? No, we're gonna leave it burn. Let it burn, is what they say. Alright. And you had... I said okay, uh, come on. You had uh, towards the castle, which you know the way. You came from it, um, so you kind of know the way, you don't, you're not, not getting lost or anything. And before you know it, the castle is rising up in front of you again, and you're in the bushes surrounding it, and you come from the north. There we are. Uh, I think we, uh, I think people hold. Uh, Dimas? So you're here from the bushes, because that's where you left. Yeah. Yeah. Can you go invisible and check the north entrance? I think they still haven't recovered because, I mean, they won't expect this, but just to be sure. Um, I mean, I uh, I might as well. I think it, it will be a good, good move, yeah. Let's check it out. So, um... Uh... We've, we've seen the holes. I mean, if they're all, like, ready for an attack, we're gonna be fucked because they can see us and shoot at us and we cannot fire back at because it's little holes in the walls, so... Alright, so, um, yep, from there, I'm uh, casting invisibility. Alright, so um, you are invisible for an hour. Yep. Also, to be sure, I'll... Yeah, okay, no, fair. That's yep. uh, too right. late. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so I'm walking in and uh, checking out if I, of course, being a very alert again, like, I want to see, uh, is there anyone in this room? So you look around and uh, this is uh, completely ex kind of how you uh, you three left it in a hurry. Um, exactly. You see the room in front of you, behind the curtain, that's completely barricaded. Um, so you cannot go through. So you have to go through the door on your left. Uh, which was still uh, wide open because you three uh, left in a hurry. Wide open, that's good. Then I can see everything when I'm, as I'm walking through it. Um, yes. Uh, just checking around the corner there. if it's still empty there. Yes, it is. Um, okay. There's no sound. It all sounds quiet. Then yeah. you have the curtain, which is uh, still to the side, so you can look through. You see the barricade yeah. and you see the little opening that you all created when you wanted to get away. And you see the, the two dead bodies of the hobgoblins you all sneakily killed, still laying there, untouched. Nice. Is this room also still empty? I'm just speaking. Uh, you need to open the door for that. Uh, can I do a perception check if I hear anything on the other side of the door? All right, do so. Uh, not too great. Seven... Oh, that's six. <laughs> Six. So you hear yeah. nothing at all through the door. Um, can I open it slightly, pushing? Just, you are just... able to open it, yes, for sure. Okay, so I'm very <laughs> close, slightly pushing it open. I'm still invisible as well anyway, so yeah, I'm pushing it open. So the door opens and you look inside. And on your left, there is the dead body without front paws of the wolf. And King Grohl is also still there, without a head, which was blown off into nice. oblivion. <laughs> yeah, For the rest, completely nice. empty. The bed has been turned over, because that's where you found the map. But for the rest, also, this room is completely empty. Okay, so yeah, I saw this, the curtain open, I saw the hobgoblins. And now I'm peeking around this corner. All right. Is the door open? Um, yes, because you left in a hurry through that door, so it's open, and you see the three dead bodies of the goblins in front of you that you killed. Um, if I remember well with your scatter attack, um, and the yeah. barricade on your right. And the door is in front of you also wide open, and you can look inside 
Ooh, I'm interested. So I'm going around the corner and just peeking around the door edge to see what's inside. Can you do me a perception check? That's better. That's 18. 18. All right. So before you put your head around the corner, you do hear like the sound of something that is like crushing bones. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like as if a large, like yeah, you just hear bones crush, crunching, and and uh, yeah, that's what you hear. Where's the sound coming from? Inside. What direction? Inside. Okay. Well, I'm still invisible, and I just want to peek around the corner. I want to know what is what what's inside. All right. So you peek it inside, there. and with your dark vision. You see a lot of dead goblin bodies. You see a dead owlbear corpse on the floor. But you also Ooh. see a creature like it looks like a long snake with his tentacles and it's like a like an octopus. It has four tentacles, not eight. And it is completely on top of a dead body, and that's where the bone crunching noise comes from. Doesn't pay attention to you, but it's uh, having quite of a feast meal on goblins, and has also still. Uh, you see, the owlbear has been been eaten for a while, but it's corpses, it's blood, and the creature is having a feast. Uh, uh, he will probably got stronger. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going uh, backwards, quietly, sneaking backwards. Can, right. I, All right. can you do me can a stealth check uh... with advantage? Oh, that's 23, 27. That's great. So you're able to nicely maneuver yourself uh, over the dead bodies of the goblins uh, backwards. Can I... How much time have I been... It's... Oh, this Not... this is like 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm going to as I'm sneaking well, I can I think I'm going past uh, here and I'm yep. going to do this to, towards this door and All I'm right. going to investigate the door for anything um uh, suspicious. All right. So you investigate this door and um meanwhile while you do investigation check, Draco and Sephion do a perception check. All right. Casting guidance on myself. That's only uh, eight. All right. Oh, wait one second. Can I do for Dre uh, Drex as well? Oh, yeah. Do so. D for me. What? Drex. D. Three. Oh, wow. Okay. The lowest so far. Uh, Drex has 16. 16. Okay, the investigation of... Oh, no. Dimos. Yeah, 14. 14. So, Dimos, you put your hands on the door, you feel the ups and downs and the sides, and it's just a normal, regular door. Nothing wrong with that. And Sephion and Draco, while you're... Sneakily in the bushes, waiting, having your eyes peeled on the castle. Drex is paying attention to something. Like, you notice that Drex is hearing something from behind you. I'll talk to him, like, telepath telepathically, like, what's the matter? Can Drex? you talk in Draconic? Yeah, in Draconic. I can talk, right, cool. uh, talk Draconic, and he can talk Draconic. So, Drex is letting you know that he hears unfamiliar language voices uh, coming from a path that you've just ventured on in the distance. Voices, so multiple voices. Voices, yes. And I'll, uh, I'll nod Sephion. Sephion. Damn it, mm? he's... Mm. Yeah. Mm? Drex is, uh, well... We're being followed. There's something in the, the path behind us. Did you not? And I take out my dagger. No, no, no. <laughs> well, maybe. 
Okay, uncheated. That's fine. Maybe maybe it's hostile. I don't know. No, okay, okay. In that case, let's uh, hide in the bushes so uh, we can ambush anybody that comes. And I'll take out my great axe while I put it on my knees while I hide in the middle of the bush so nobody can see me. Yeah, I'll try to stealth and react when stuff gets close. Daimos, what are you doing after you investigated the door? Um, I want to... Uh... Let's see, I'm not sure if I, because last night I saw a lot of goblins coming from this door and I know there's a lot of goblins dead now, but I'm pretty sure I saw more goblins coming down. Um, I am, um, I'm, um, I have to spell my illusion to the okay, sound, the dark, the ray from riffle to scream. Oh, but then I might, of course, wake up the Greek as well. No, that's not a good idea. Um... No, okay, I'm just gonna push open the door a little bit. Make it look like it's the wind opening it up. How far are you opening up this door? Uh, first, like, <clears throat> I don't know that there's a gap of uh, 30 centimeters. A gap of 30 centimeters? Can you do a perception check for me? 18, 17. 17. Uh, no, perception. Yeah, 17. Yeah. So you open the door on 30 centimeters, and what you see is you, you look straight into a wall. But what you hear is a lot of goblin voices coming from this area. Goblin voices that are talking, that are yelling. At each other, it's a complete mess inside. Hmm. Chaos. Could try to kill them. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um. All right. Um, um. I know goblins. Check. Snake, octopus, creature. Check. I'm uh, going back. So I want to just go back uh, to the to the forest edge now, and. Uh, Go back to uh, Sifion and Draco. Uh, don't forget, with our backs to the castle and hidden in the bush, so you won't be able to see us when you walk there. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. I don't don't know that. That's. No, but maybe if you won't see us, you might be a little bit more cautious when you walk back, because you would expect us to. Do we like twigs uh, snapping or something? Uh, do a perception check and then you, Daimos can do a stealth check uh, with advantage. I have a oh. 10 plus oh, perception. I got something in perception, I think. Yeah, for 14. I have 23 stealth. Alright, so you don't hear anything of him coming. Nice. Also still invisible, I can imagine. Yes. Yep. Yeah. For okay. for another ten minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they have no idea that you're there. <laughs> so I'm walking uh, behind them, and then. Uh, well, I don't want to scare Sephion. I'm kind of afraid to scare Sephion. <laughs> he's slitting throats. <laughs> he's uh, he's in the mood today. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> might just swing his axe. Um, I think they even have his dagger between his teeth now. No, I, I have another fun idea, and uh, so I'm, uh, I'm I'm going to sneak behind uh, a tree here that, that they can't see us, and then I'm going to cast a uh, minor illusion, and I'm going to make a, a, a sound from the other side, like from here. I, I can barely see that, uh, like a big scream of, of me, myself, actually, uh, as if I'm being, being, being killed. Like, ah! <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> you do that, and there's a large scream coming from here. And at that point, might not be so smart. Okay. Two wolves <laughs> oh. are running in and looking around where the noise came from. Are these wolves? What do they look like? It turned. Ah, yeah, they're 90 degrees. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there yeah. we go. There you yeah. go. 
So two wolves, they are sniffing around, looking around, trying to figure out where the noise comes from. Um, could do, uh, could you do a stealth check for me? Cephion, Drax, and Draco. Stealth? Stealth, stealth. yes. Disadvantage, right? No, the first one was 15, ah. the second one was 7. Why with disadvantage? I both, have. Of this, both of the advantages on stealth. Oh, Drax has Drax has seventeen. Draco has seven. Uh, seventeen, seven. Hold on, I need to have the uh, wolf stats somewhere. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. At nine. Wolf perception. Oh, wait, no, I had nine, by the way. I, I do have a plus two. Oh, and they have advantage on perception. <laughs> Yay. So, 17, 7, and 9. No, the the 7 was a 9. I forgot the plus two. So twice a 9 and a 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still shit, but... Yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rolled an 18, and then <laughs> that was the first one already. So, one wolf notices the sound that comes over here and notices you all instantly and starts growling very loudly while the other joins him starts growling very loudly and I'm then gonna speak only to to Sefiana I'll say slit their throat and I'll put, uh, pull out my halberd and smack the first one in front of me all right and I'm gonna no, I'm gonna growl then it's uh, initiative because right. what yeah, you it's not surprised. don't hear, they're, in... they're not surprised. No, no, they're not. So yeah, I, I understand. So from here, you hear very deep voices of a language you don't understand. And responding to the sound of the wolves is a group of hobgoblins. Oh, wow. Nice. That were on their way back to the castle. So, the wolf, which makes sense, basically, that's weird, is um, seeing Draco and goes for it. Alright. The wolf does a bite attack. Surprise, surprise. And um, his ally is... Uh, do we say it's five feet close to him? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Then he has yeah. uh, advantage on the attack roll uh, as oh, long yeah. as uh, uh, it's close to him. We say yes. <laughs> Next time we tell the trick, we should just say no. No, no, it's not. <laughs> but it's like it's it's it's. it's, it's yeah. So, anyways, um, here we go. Oh yeah. That's 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. And... Hold on to your horses, because this damage is gonna hurt you a lot. It's 2d4 plus 2. Could be a lot. Could be half. That is... 7 plus 2 is 9 piercing damage. Hey. Hey, Her. Are you... Her. Are you a creature? Mean, yeah, like creature. if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 11 strength saving throw, or you'll be prone. No, I'm not a creature. I'm a, I'm an, uh, <laughs> He's a, a spirit. <laughs> I'm a, I, how do you say it? Humanoid. What's the difference a lot between a creature? Do, would you call a, a goblin humanoid or a creature? Yeah, a uh, goblin humanoid. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So you're more humanoid, you're not a creature. A creature is like Drex, if it's a Drex, dog. Drex, or Drex, is, Drex is yeah, a creature. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, nice. Cool. So, that was that. Draco, your return. Oh, that was a 9, so you're on 21 right now, right? Yeah, I did that in my sheet. Not there. Okay, yeah, thanks. no, no, that's fine. I'll, I, I do that for myself to keep track. Yeah, yeah that's fine. All right. You stupid animal. And I'll... uh. Try to hit it. Oh, jeez. 19 plus... 
just Two. go for it. The, 20, that's 20 already his armor uh, long shot. So yeah. So you hit hey, it yeah. with uh, your. But my halberd. Your halberd. Nice. Halberd. I need to find a D10. That's an eight. And what you're aiming for? Uh, I am aiming for his neck. For his neck. Chop off his fucking head. Yeah, and I'm gonna infuse it with uh, the reaction of Drax with flames as well. Oh, right. Set it on fire. So, that would be... 6 plus 4 plus 3. So, 10. 13 damage. 13 damage. Yeah. So, with your helmet, you aim for the neck. You chop off his head. Drax flies over your shoulder. And the corpse that is now really jiggering on the floor without its head, he also puts it on fire. And yeah, he, the he, he uses the halberd, like the, the, the halberd is on fire. Yeah, yeah okay, alright, fine. Yeah. So your halberd is on fire, you decapitate the wolf, and uh, like where the wound is, where the head has been taken off the body, that's uh, a bit burning. Yeah. It smells a bit funny. And I'll uh, point at the next wolf. You're next, and then I'll uh, I'll move a little bit back. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. And with and the Drax's turn, he moves back as well. Like. All right. So here. Drax helps here. you. That does not part of his turn. <laughs> Behind Sephiroth. All right. Cool. <laughs> I look around and say, "Fucking pussy, standing here behind me, little coward." <laughs> no, it's, it's tactics, you moron! <laughs> Up goblin number throat, four! <laughs> I'll show you how it's done! Uh, 60 feet. Uh, I'm zoomed in too much. 60 feet. That's until there. So, um, How do I remember that spot? Next to the vine. Right there. Right here. Here. Thank you. So he dashes over there. Upside down. Good. Number one. That's this one. He also does the same. With the rock. That's it. So also this hobgoblin moves here. Can you, yeah. can you go? <laughs> There yeah. you go. All right, and then uh, it is Sephion's turn, and Sephion uh, takes out his new black axe, uh, and he cannot move himself. He moves the whole map. So, oh, Sephion, uh, you move the whole map. I'm still here. <laughs> That's it's a fine. powerful weapon. It is a powerful weapon. You know, plus one is uh, on attack and on damage. No. Yeah, yeah. I, no. Well, I did it. Yeah, I just uh, I just took the plus one great axe and I uh, equipped it, so uh, it's automatically uh -huh. changed. And great, the plus nice. weapon just for well deserved. Reason. So I take out the great axe and I like uh, I'm gonna try this one out and I sl I'm gonna grab it over my head and I shout, Shock! and I <laughs> try to splice it in his head. All right. 17, so you run to him with your great axe and you call SHAR! And you head for its head and it sees you coming, it moves its head aside and you cling your great axe straight onto its armor and he looks at you not impressed. Ooh. Okay. Hobgoblin number that? 3 is coming. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I hear. Uh, I hear someone in the distance. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, oh. um, uh, my turn, my oh, turn yeah? wasn't done yet. Sorry, people. You still have movement then. Uh, I want to use my bonus action. All right. Which is? Uh, let me check how it's exactly called, so I don't say it right. Uh. And I, uh, that's a shield of fate. So a shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice with a rage granting a plus two bonus uh, to AC for the duration. 
uh, and I cast it um, uh, on yourself. Like uh, on yourself, and uh, small parchment take it out of my and I crumble it, and uh, suddenly a uh, shimmering uh, shield appears, but where it's supposed to be white and glowing. Just like when creating the holy water, it's infused with dark black light. Nice. Nice. Alright, that grants you your AC went then up to? 19. 19. Nice. Well done. Would you still like to move? No. Yes, I I'm a tank. Oh, so All right. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Daimos. You had to be a bit patient. I'm so sorry. Let's go. That's yeah, okay. It's okay. Thank you. That had to be done. Uh, so yeah, I, I do see that, and the hobgoblin is next to Sephion. So I want to uh, Aldrich blast the hobgoblin in front of him. All right. Go for it. So with advantage, right? Yes. That's seventeen and nineteen. With your Eldritch Blast. Yeah. So you throw 19. 19, yeah. All right. You hit it. How much damage do you do? Uh, let's see. D10. One, two. Plus four. Seven. Plus four. Eleven. Eleven. So while you see that Cephion like hits his armor with his great axe and puts a sh uh, like a dark and a shield around himself that uh, could uh, form you sneak from the bushes while you're invisible and at the moment that your invisibility cancels and the time has run out you quickly shoot your eldritch blast at hobgoblin and you hit it straight in the face, catches him completely off guard, and that immediately kills the hobgoblin in front of Zephyr. All right, nice. Say, uh, hey guys. At that point, <laughs> you, yeah, 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 there you go. At that point, uh, how much yeah, did man, you throw uh, for an. Uh, oh, yeah, initiative oh. as well. I'll turn around and I'll look at him and say, I'll talk to you later because it's your <laughs> fault that we're in this fucking terrible, untactical mess. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe uh, I have a three initiative. All right, cool. Do not slit his throat, Sephion. He's good. <laughs> no, don't worry. And I'll start laughing while I'll still look at the other wolf and the other gob goblin. <laughs> I'll slap their throats. Yeah, that's fine. Meanwhile, another hobgoblin joins the other goblin. And then, wolf that is still alive is seeing his uh, body killed, hobgoblin killed, and goes for Sephion. He jumps at Sephion, and uh, while he jumps for Sephion, Sephion just grabs the wolf at the throat, grabs him out of the air, and lets him go right in front of him. Up goblin number two is also gonna join next to his friend. And then we have Targar Bloodjet. The leader of the gang is going to stand behind them. And then it's Daimos' turn in this row. Oh, re oh, nice. Okay. I can abuse this situation. That's a nice radius of uh, 10 feet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so, and that's within 60 feet? It's within 60 feet. So, yeah, it I'm going to yes, cast yes. the Shattered Spell again. The Shattered Spell, nice. Yeah, 
Very nice. So um, it's on all four of those hobgoblins. And right. uh, they need to make a constitution saving throw of 14. Constitution saving throw of 14. <laughs> so this one throws a one. <laughs> so it goes great. So that's a two, just so you know. Good start. Uh. <laughs> This one throws uh, 16. So he gets half the damage, I think, then, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. No, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. The other one throws 19. Eight. And the leader throws 3. <laughs> so these two. They right. are going to be hit by your Shatter Full Blast, and the other two are going to be uh, half the damage. Go for it. Okay. Um, oh, I can roll for them, yeah. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. D10. So the damage is... Well, I did only roll eight. So it's eight damage uh, and half total. of it. Yeah. Yeah, I only got you three total. But you did, you did, oh, wow, that's... You rolled, you rolled 3 d8, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's uh, 8 You got spell, spell plus 6 spell attack. I had a 3, a 4, and a 1. So this one got full damage, but that's... You're going to modify. You're going to get a modifier in that one? No. No, well, I can understand that because it's a 3 times 8, so that's yeah. also... Yeah, okay. Well, still, they're they're all yeah. pretty messed up, I guess. If you do one more time, they're all dead. Yeah. Uh, eight. Yeah, Targo got the full damage. Sorry, I misunderstood you there. I actually thought it was going to be divided among all targets. No, 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 no. It's still a, it's still a very powerful spell. Um, and and they're all like the ones that did manage to get the saving throw. They got now four damage. Yeah. And the others got a damage, uh, which at that point you see that uh, two uh, two of them, like you shot at them with your shatter, you made this incredible thundering noise that came to them, and you see that two of them are very much hurt by that. They are screaming it out, uh, in but the leader, um, not so much. Not so much. Breaker, your turn. My turn. Okay. I'm gonna use my movement to move over here. <laughs> he stays I'm behind gonna... Zephion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tactic, okay? I'm gonna use my halberd. And because halberds have reached, I can still reach it. Behind and the I'm back gonna... of Zephion, yes, the EFR. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to slap the the wolf. <laughs> nah, see how much you slap the wolf. That would be. Let me see. Where's my thing? Twelve to hit. Uh, so you take your halberd, and Zephyr is watching a bit what you're doing behind his back, but because he has such wide shoulders. You're not able to really hit the wolf. The wolf was too quickly and jumped out of the way of your halberd. All right, then I'll uh, look at Sefi and I'll shrug my shoulders like you, you're just too big, man. And I'll walk. See, twenty-five feet this way. No, that would be my <laughs> turn. Braxis, he walks. Oh, oh, oh. oh uh, he grows. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> stupid it, and uh, he walks up to the, the wolf and okay. he attacks. Nice. And he What's throws. He, gonna uh, do? he has a 14 plus 2, 16 to hit. That hits? He has plus 5. Oh, plus five to hit. Never mind. It was even more. It was ninety to hit. But oh anyway. well, still one d six plus two. So 
and it does four piercing damage. Four piercing damage. It bites him in the throat. On this wolf, so it gets so oh, so you miss. You have this wolf in front of Sephion. Sephion is too wide. You miss. You walk away, and then yeah. you send Drex like get him, boy. And Drex yeah, just him. jumps up to the wolf, bites him in his neck. And let's go. And the wolf is crying out in pain. Uh, but yeah, not that. Not that. Hop Goblin number four. Who are you? You this one? You this one? You this one then? No, you this one. Alright. And that's all he does. Sephion. Right. <laughs> Hop Goblin number four is stepping a bit more to the front. Um, I'm gonna take out, of course, my uh, new shiny black great axe, and I'm gonna slice the wolf in two. All right, so you're gonna hit it in the spine. Go for it. Throw. Uh, nine plus six, fifteen. Fifteen, you hit. How much damage does your great axe do? Twelve plus four, so let me see. Twelve plus four, so that's like sixteen. All right. Yeah, you you slice this wolf in two. Nice. And then there's, there's not much do. You go over there with your nice black great axe. And then I uh, look. And I look back and, and look at the two of I shall protect you guys. <laughs> and then I'll take a step forward. Like this. Alright. And then we have uh, goblin number three. Goes like here. And then we have goblin number oh, goblin number goes here. And then we have the leader. Right over there. Daimos! Yes. How much um, of those shatter spells do you have and can you do? <laughs> no, no. I, uh, that's the downside of lore. I only have two spell slots and I use. Did, I <laughs> so uh, there's not more, nothing more I can do except uh, I'll just blasting. But <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm. Um, I mean, see the warlocks. I'm gonna cast. Well, one is the. I can see the one who's most wounded, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's bleeding out and everything. Let me tell you that that's uh, number three. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit him with Eldritch Blast. So yes, go for rolling to hit. Nineteen. Uh, that's twenty-five. Yes. 25 to hit. Yeah, that yep. hits him again, straight in the face. And then 1, the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 plus 4 is 7 damage. 7 damage. So also this one you hit straight in the face. And uh, while you t put your Eldritch Blast to work, he gets shot right down and he falls over backwards. Dead. Nice. Uh, uh, Sapien starts singing a little song. <laughs> and I'm gonna All move. little hobgoblins were sitting in the forest. <laughs> One got shot, and now there were three. <laughs> just look at Dave. Draco, it's your Always turn. Like... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get my longbow. And I'll shoot it. All right, you aim. What do you, what do you aim for? I'm aiming for uh, the hobgoblin number two. All right. Okay, you hit. That would be eighteen. All right. Yeah, that hits. All right. One d eight. Jesus. <laughs> now I need to find a d eight. That is this one. Yes. 
I'm gonna react with it with uh, Drax. He's gonna set the fi for the arrow on fire. Two plus two, eight damage. Eight damage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So where are you yeah. shooting your? Uh... And help goblin number three in this right in his chest. I thought it was number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help goblin number two. This one. Yeah. All right. So straight in yeah. his chest. Yeah. Which normally you would say it would bounce off his uh, chain mail that he's wearing, but okay, somehow is... you are able to sh to to by luck you hit him straight in the neck, and because also your arrow is inflamed by tracks, it catches on fire, and with a loud scream, and with this arrow piercing his throat. He is also done for. Don't worry, Zephyr, we can't hold our own. Uh, and Zephyr starts singing. Three little hobgoblins were walking in the forest. One got burned, and now there were two. Let Drex just stand next to Zephyr and nod his head a little. All right. I can't attack, it reacts to my arrow, so... Alright, cool. just... So, Hobgoblin number four. <sighs> Cephion. He goes towards you. And he looks at you. Not very impressed by your song, because the Hobgoblin is not very easily impressed or so. He takes out his long sword And he is gonna hit you with it. At least, he's gonna try it. And he throws 21 to hit. I want to use a reaction, by the way, to that. But I don't know. I don't know if we do that after the damage or now. It's a reaction, so let's uh, first oh. do the damage and then uh, let's see how much uh, damage he does to you. Uh, there is my hit. There we go. Slashing damage because he's holding a shield, uh, which means he cannot use both hands for the long sword. And that's plus one, so that is seven damage. And okay. because his friend is standing behind him, he gets an extra 2d6 damage wow. on the creature. Oh, then we're lucky that we've slain two already. Jesus. And that's an additional nine the damage to that. So that's a total of? Uh, I know it's now I am now totally fixed, so I did them separately. So that was 16, 16 damage? You're now on 36. Yeah. I did not throw 16 damage right now, right? You did 2d6 plus what did you do in the, in the beginning? Uh, nine, that was nine, 7 nine, damage nine, and 7. Yeah, nine, 16 nine. damage. Yeah, no, indeed. Yeah, 16 damage. Oh, oh okay. All right. Yeah, 16 damage. That's correct. Um, then it's Zephion's turn. Okay. Uh, but I want to use a reaction first. All right. Uh, to that. And that's uh, I point my finger at him. Ooh, and yeah. uh, hellish uh, flames start coming out of him because I use yeah, hellish rebuke. He needs to do a de dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity. Here we go. That's six. <laughs> okay. So uh, two d10 creature. fire damage. First one is eight. All right. And seven. 
and seven. And Hobgoblin number four is uh, really happy with the damage he dealt to you with his long short. But as a response to the long sword, fire starts going up from the ground around him and he starts burning very badly and the flames rise above his head and he burns to death as a reaction to his attack. And that only leaves the leader of the hobgoblins war band and i stop because it's my turn i think now uh right. yes it is so i step right to in front of him and i uh, start saying slowly i say two little hobgoblins <laughs> were walking in the forest one got burned and now there is one and i take out my axe so Shall we spare your miserable life? Or do you want to go out with your friends right now? And uh, he looks at you. And uh, he stares you straight in the eyes. And he gets with his face a bit closer to your face. And what you hear is like, it's a bit like this, like... <laughs> from the deepest of his soul and he spits this very nasty greenish sliming shit straight in your face okay uh, that's well, I said. what I think of you there you go I lick it uh, if I <laughs> no I take it with my, I take it with my hand and I smear that on my pants. I keep looking at him. I take my great axe. And while I look at him, I point it out forward straight into his st stomach. All right. While keeping looking him in the eyes. Yeah, you're going to roll for him. And uh, 12 plus 6. So that's uh, 18. 18, all right. So you uh, put your great your great axe, you stick inside yeah. his... How are you going to stick a great axe inside him? Like that. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't have like a point on it? In my head, that's like you, this if, point. If, if it has a point in your head and you can pierce him with that, fine by me. How is that not uh, allowed? In my head, that's the point, and based on the point, there is like this blade. That's how it looks in my head. All right, yeah, no, that's that's fine. I can imagine that a great axe like does not have like a great axe on top, but has a little point sticking out above the blade, like yeah. that. I I know what yeah. you mean. Yeah, but I can imagine that for sure. So, and that's the part that you're gonna stick him with in the belly. Yeah, because I'm yeah I'm really strong, and I just to his armor, to his uh, just one. I just and how much damage do you do? I, I don't know if it hits. I will do oh, at the 12 see. plus 4. I had 18 to hit. Yes, it hit. Oh, and then it does 9 plus 4 damage. 9 plus 4, that's 13 damage. Yes. And while you stick it in his belly, uh, do you like to twist it a bit around? Do you like to cleave it a bit? A bit playful? No, I just uh, uh, stick it in. And <laughs> then I uh, put my hands in and I and I want to rip it out and take his intestines out. All Only right. if he's dead. If he's not dead. I'm yeah, not no, close. he's dead. With this move. Okay, uh, then, uh, then I'll... Dead, yeah. And then I was like... I look around and I was like, I think I have a new collection. A new, I have a new collection. Uh, a new hat for my collection, guys. I just look at Damon. And I look at the head of... He, he's dark, yeah. He's always like... Is he always like this? Yeah, so far he has been. <sighs> Only to people to deserve it. And I hear oh, everything. Oh, oh, oh. Now he heard us. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, Stefan. Glad you're on my side. Some people have to do the dark things that other people won't. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. For the greater good. You, you're good, you're good, Stefan. You don't have to explain me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, congrats on your collection, uh, Sefian. Yeah. Uh, let's see if they they got yeah. uh, information. What, why the hell is there a warband of hobgoblins here? So uh, I'm gonna search the leader while, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm basically on top of him. <laughs> Investigation check. Uh, 16 minus 1 is 15. 15, alright. You feel up his armor and, uh, well, your hands have already been very deep inside uh, regarding his intestines and stuff, but uh, uh, underneath his armor you find a little bit of a bag that is filled with 15 gold pieces. I'm also investing uh, searching uh, the hobgoblin uh, just this one, yeah. All right, great. Go for it. See if we, I mean, always have to see if we find something. Oh, there you go. 26. Jesus. 26. Jesus, what is this with this throwing? I want your dice. Oh, never mind. I, I, I roll the three, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, let's have a look. So, um... This goblin, even though it's not the leader, um, you feel a bit more, but first point, you don't feel much. And then you start searching, you rub his legs, and uh, you take off one of his boots. And inside this boot, you find stuffed in there five gold pieces. Nice. Thank you. And then we have Draco filling up this hobgoblin and, um, well, besides uh, some dirt in his hair, this one had nothing for you. Oh, am I the lucky one? Uh, can I, um, I don't know how, my, how much time we have, can I uh, skin the wolves and, like, uh, get, this, get the furs and then maybe even some meat for the, for the barbecue? I'd like to... Yeah, we can do a short rest, uh, and then because I need to heal, I took all the damage. I said, uh, if you want to skin them, that's fine. I'm gonna take a short rest. You keep watch, and then we go back to this fucking castle because now I'm annoyed. I want to kill them all. Yeah, well, we can do. It. Oh yeah, just so you know, by the way, guys, um, I came back from the castle, uh, and there was this weird snake octopus thing creature. Let me uh, stop you there. Sorry. Uh, uh, while you are all talking like oh, this with each other, Draco starts um, skinning the wolves, right? Yeah. How long would you yep. think you would need for that? I don't know how many hours people take to skin a like, wolf. I'm not very good with that, but you're quite... Let's say it's a survival ski skill. You're in the half forest. An hour, half, an hour and half, half an hour an animal should be fine. That's that's what About I would 20 say. 20 minutes to skin, it says. So to a, a deer, that's what I found on Google. Um, just to let you know, you're going to take per wolf six pieces of meat with a total weighing of 48 pounds. Uh, let me see my inventory. That's <laughs> good. Meat, you said? Yes. Um... So let's say you could take 12 pieces of meat for 48. So that's 4 pounds per piece of meat. So I'm taking a short rest in the meantime, okay? Mm -hmm. You said how much? How much weight? Four pounds per piece of meat. Okay. And sixteen, you said, right? Twelve. Oh. So meanwhile, Dimos, you were talking to them and keeping them uh, so. Draco is, is uh, skinning the wolves, uh, very concentrated, but he's listening in to what, uh, to what you have to say. 
Yep. So I said, guys, uh, at the castle, I watched uh, uh, in the center room where all the goblins went. Uh, all the goblins are dead. The owl bear is dead, and the weird snake-like creature is uh, eating their bones. It's pretty horrifying, actually. Um, you might like it as a pet, Sefion. I don't know. It's, <laughs> if, uh, yeah, it's, it sounds, sounds like fun. Uh, seriously, it's uh, while I'm tending to my wounds. And also put lay on hands and heal myself for another ten point eight points. I'm definitely willing to to see if we can kill it. I'm I'm think we, I I I'm up for the adventure. Uh, and in the other rooms there were a lot of goblins still, but um, yeah, that that must there must be some more treasure as well in the castle. Can't be. That is not. Yes, we need to go there then. Yep, so whenever you're ready. I mean, the short rest is one hour, right? Yes. Yeah. We, and, uh, we, will can, uh, we have a campfire because I'll cook some uh, meat for them. In an right. hour, you can uh, you can definitely make a fire. Fire, yeah, 20 minutes, you have a decent fire. So that leaves you another 40 minutes. And by the way, in a short rest, you can do eating, drinking, reading, tending to wounds. So yeah, if the DM would be okay, that will also cre uh, mean creating a fire. Yeah, yeah, fine. Like he's like short rest is just like getting your back health back together. It doesn't yeah, fill up spell the, slots except if you're a warlock, right? Yeah. And it doesn't yeah, heal it, you up fully, right? No, no, it healed me for uh, eight total, and I healed myself for another eight for With my lay on hands pool. Lay on hands, and that's then a spell slot. Uh, no, lay on hands is not a spell slot. Is that a cantrip for you? It's like a, a pool of healing power that can. Oh yeah, true. It's eat. like yeah. a. That's a pally thing. And that's uh, oh yeah, true, true, true. So I get so confused. And then you need to, um, and that got refilled on a long rest. That got refilled on a long rest, exactly. And now I still have twelve left. Nice. Right, I'll uh, cook up meat for everybody. That's minus three then. Uh, four. I'll give Draco as well. And nice then I'll eat it. And, uh... Okay, uh... Alright, nice. That was a nice hour of a bit of resting. Like, outside. In the bushes there. With uh, yeah. the view on the castle. And with some uh, bodies of hobgoblins around you. Did you find anything for why they were here? You just find money. I didn't find anything but some money in the boot. Can we check them again to see if they, any body of them has some parchment or a paper or any clue on a clue why they were there? Like you want to keep on doing an investigation until you find something? <laughs> keep uh, rolling and re-rolling. No, yeah, no. I don't know. Does that works? <laughs> it's like, uh, well, I definitely would like to give you a second try. Then one more body we did, or two more bodies we did check, right? No, but yeah, then we was checking. At least I was checking for valuables, not per se. Uh, yeah, something else. Any other clues? Yeah. I checked again and I rolled twelve. Now. I, right. I rolled. Uh, nine in total, so that's not nothing. Indeed, nothing that would lead you to why a hobgoblin warband would go to this castle. Because they were definitely on their way to the castle. That's that's uh, a conclusion that you can get out of this for sure. Well, I think let's just go to the castle. Yeah, and uh, put in the day. Okay, yeah, I'm done. I, I did a short rest as well. Oh. So the castle is not even five minutes away. It's, it's just right out there. You, you yeah, have yeah. a view on it. So the three of you are going to approach the castle from the north. Yeah. So what have you seen, uh, Damus? Like, uh, didn't we, he say we that already? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's think. But where was it? 
What did we encounter first? So yeah, the grip is in the room where everyone went to last night, where uh, every, the owl bear Every went night. into, in that uh -huh. room. And uh, the goblins are on the south, in the room, uh, in the tavern-like room on the south part of the castle. Mm -hmm. So we attack the, the, what do you call it, Grig? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I know it, but the, yeah, the snake-like creature. <laughs> so wait, what if, if we attack that one? It will make noise. The goblins will run out and fight us as well. Yeah. So and if we fight the goblins first, I don't know if Grig gets out. Yeah, that's the dilemma. Um, uh, we have to, we have to barricade a door. And if I remember correctly, you seen a trap on the other side. The first time we came here, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where, where I saw a trap. Where you heard the the snake voices, uh, sounds, whatever. Yeah. So what if we open up the door from there and let, I don't know how we are going to do it. Please let me think, of help me think. But we lure the thing into that trap. That's an idea. I don't, got, I got, I don't got a better idea. <clears throat> oh, I like that idea. Definitely. Sifion? You Mr. Tactics guy? Uh, we can, I mean, it's one creature. I think um, by the time they get to us, we already have a dad. But I'm also fine with an elusive, elusive plan like this. Well, well uh, uh, it's all... Uh, oh yeah. We can just go in and kill everything. Like, I think... Th yep. This guy over here, and I point at Sefion, he, he's on the roll, so uh, let's just do what he says. All right, let's move in then. And then um, I'm actually going to just walk inside already. Yeah. Right, right behind you. Me too. Um, now we're not in common. I'm going to cast Mage Armor on me, so I have 16 Armor again. Nice. Let me change that quickly for you. No, I'll do that if, if you would go in combat. Zephyon, you can't go that way. Well, uh, we have to you go You barricaded that last right. time. You have to go that way. Yes. And then you can go straight ahead or to the right, where you see two dead hobgoblin bodies. Okay, and so it's there. There. Through that door. there it is. I'll wait, I'll wait until everybody... Uh, everybody we do need to do some spells. Can we just start? Give me the, give me the nod, and I'll go. I'll... I'll... Speak only in his head. Slit his throat. And I and I <laughs> charge in, screaming with my axe above my sword. Ah! Yeah, and I'm, and I'm since stealth is not that high, roll for initiative. You did not really surprise this animal. No. Daimos, go ahead. Sorry for the mess inside. Um, there's a lot of goblin bodies and owlbear bodies still that uh, was the feast for uh, this nice tentacle creature which is now yeah. on its back up it looks at you, four tentacles spread and you see a very nicely long beak in the center of it yeah, but like it's, it can be considered a humanoid, right? no, <laughs> no 100% not <laughs> Sadly, okay, no. Um, no, then, uh, no, I'm just gonna walk around just to the corner, and then I'm gonna Eldritch Blast him. All right, go. So that's 18 plus 6 is 24 to hit. All right, that hits. And D10, 8 plus 4, 12 damage. 12 damage, wow. That's some good rolls. Indeed. Gets almost boring. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, the bonuses are getting. All right. Yeah. So you uh, hit it uh, at the center at his beak, and uh, doesn't really. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. Uh, it did anything to this creature. Which at that point the thing responds to the person that is closest to it. 
and at that point it goes to Sephion. What uh, your armor is that seventeen again, Sephion? Yes. Yes. Come on. For fuck's sake. Uh, so it goes to Sephion with its uh, tentacles, tries to grab him, but Sephion gets out of the way and uh, just slightly m it misses uh, Sephion like that. And then it's Draco's turn. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna run up. Can I? Like, restrain it, like, grab a hold of it or something? Like, grab two of the tentacles so it's like, and like, try to, yeah, I know, grapple it, I guess? How did you have that in mind? It has four testi uh, testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind then, if it has testicles. <laughs> you guys have about the testicles. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking about like from the back and then grab two of it. I don't know how flexible the testicle uh, testicles are. Uh, there's four tentacles. Um, like how if you get two of them, like, then there's still like, two like, free. Like octopus, so it's like move all, all over the place. So yeah, yeah, even... for sure, hundred percent. And I'm not even gonna try it because I'm gonna look at it like, oh yeah, that, that play doesn't work. I'll stand behind Sephion. <laughs> for a change <laughs> <laughs> and I'll uh, swing my helmet over his head towards it over Sephion's head well uh, yeah, okay. slightly to the right slightly here then still so, so... You're, 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 I'll, I'll, if you do it behind Sephion is with disadvantage this time Look, I'll stand here then like in the door so I can go around him alright uh, yeah good, good. Good, good, good. 15 if it hits 15 yep uh, that hits okay then it will be a t10 and I'll do the reaction of Draco with the fire damage with your halberd right my halberd yeah 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 does it then uh, do completely fire damage or anything no it does uh, 1d10 normal damage and then it adds the uh, the 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 other damage. And what's the normal yeah. damage? Uh, no, the normal damage is one d10 plus three slashing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I can do Draco's reaction as a one d6. All right, cool. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Well, the the halberd is a one plus three, so it's four. But the fire damage is six. All right. So you hit him with your halberd, which doesn't do anything to him. You definitely see that it's like scraping his beak. But the fire, the fire, you see that the tentacles start gibbering and uh, there comes a, a bit of a creak from the creature's mouth. Damn it, it has resistance, I think. Use magic, guys. I can do that. Yeah. Oh wait, I can't respond yet. No. Right. Uh, Drax, what does Drax do? It reacted on me, so it just uh, stands in front of me. All right, Sephion, on your turn. I uh, put my hands upon it and I uh, inflict wounds. Oh wow! And where are you gonna put your hands upon? Just, uh, I'm gonna grab, uh, uh, well, I don't know how tentacles look, but at least grab one or... Imagine huge as octopus tentacles, including with the sucking things and everything. Well, well, then I'm just gonna grab one tentacle with two hands, and right. uh, then I cast... Uh... You grab it. Yeah, touch it, put my hands against it. Not grab it, but like just put my hand palms against it and I inflict Hold on. wounds. Could you do me then uh 
why not? Slight of hand. Nineteen minus one. Eighteen. Yeah, so you're able to touch the tentacle. And uh, it does 3d10 necrotic damage. 3d10 necrotic damage? Yes. But uh makes a spe melee spell attack, so I need to roll. And I roll 11 uh, plus... Second. 11 plus 5, 16 to hit. Yeah, that hit. That hit. Uh, hold on. Yeah, no, that hit. 100%. In that case, I need to do 3d10. 8. 5. 5. So, 18 damage. Necrotic. 18 necrotic damage. So, nice. this necrotic blackness spreads over the whole tentacle. And while this happens, the creature is a bit uh, stunned and is creaking out in pain and quickly r pulls back its tentacle from your grip. But the blackness is still spreading across the tentacle and you see the veins turning black and it's not a very nice sight and it almost looks like if this tentacle is, is dead, but it's still moving around and the Greek still has some control over it. Which we get back to Dimas. All right, yeah, I'm just just gonna do the same, and I look at it and say, okay, maybe one more time, and I cast my Elder's Blast, <laughs> and then I'm rolling natural twenty. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah, why not? That could also still happen. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be this boring, but. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Um, uh, my like, I'm gonna change my encounters for the, all the next sessions because you three are overpowered. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Well, <laughs> it's seven, 11 damage total. Times two, then, right? It's critical. Yeah, no, I rolled a 1 plus 4 and a 2 plus 4. 11 damage. On this nice uh, pet Grig, uh, eleven damage. No, I don't need to fill out eleven. Uh, all right. So Eldritch Blast on this Grig. Where do you hit it? Um, I'm hitting it on um, just on the on the beak. On the beak. And uh, with that, uh, you like blow it like five feet back and it's gibbering in pain you definitely see that uh, this grick the tentacles are like stuttering around and it's like moving around uh, and uh, yeah there's not much more to it let's say it like that but it still would like to try to at least do a bit of damage so while he has a black tentacle that he has still control over, while he is in a lot of pain and everything, the Grig moves forward slowly towards Zephion. And Swing it, bitch! <laughs> tentacles, oh. like, try to reach out to Zephion. And... This is our last session. Fuck off, fuck all of y'all. I throw it too. I I I really call it quits. <laughs> Zephion is too strong. The Greg tries to grab him, but Zephion is uh, like uh, let's call Neo from the Matrix, evading bullets like floop, and turns to the right and turns to the left, jumps over the others, and uh, not impressed by the quickness of the tentacles of the Greg. And then Draco, can you finish him off? Put him out of his uh, misery. I'm gonna stand here, right in front of him, and I'm gonna 
use my breath weapon, he needs to do a dexterity save of DC 10. D dexterity, well, the way yeah. I'm throwing in the last two sessions is going to be amazing. Oh, well. Yeah, of this... course, I throw with three, so there you go. You get uh, full D10 damage. I'm going to roll for it now. Let's see. Seven. Seven force damage. So a purple beam comes from my mouth and I'll just blast away. All right. And he gets blasted all the way over to the corner against the wall. And it this this, this huge platter against the wall. And with that, it's dead. Okay, uh, Hello, guys. You made uh, so much oh. noise with this that on the other side of this wall, you hear a lot of movement around and a lot of yelling and screeching. Yeah, I'm gonna already start walking this way and I'm gonna shout, The creature is dead! Give us treasure and we will spare your life! The creature is dead! Give us passion and we spare your life! The creature is dead! <laughs> just keep shouting while I'm walking. And this door down south. Uh, I'll look at the, Diamond's yeah. like, just go with the flow, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna follow him in case, in case they're gonna attack. The, I want to be and, behind um, him. Well, this door flings open. I'm gonna investigate this room first. Okay. Okay. So while he goes down, you start investigating. Yeah. This, this, just gonna this like know, knows a bit around. All right. Uh, cool. Hopefully, I, I finally have a good investigation. Go for it. <laughs> You're gonna hate me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said, "Don't want to even want to say it." Oh, go for it. Yeah, tell me. It's a natural twenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Plus four is twenty-four. <laughs> Plus four is twenty-four, a natural twenty. So um that was my first one today, okay. So you're looking a bit around in this area and you don't see much except for two curtains on this side and this side. But with your natural twenty, you're so smart and you're so fantastic that you think let's look behind the curtain. And you do. And at that point, you find that there is like a bit of a preaching area, it looks like, over here. And you walk towards it. And you actually see that there is a golden statue of a sun elf standing on top of it. Is and it this receivable? golden statue is a hundred gold pieces value. Okay. Add custom item. Statue Sun Elf Gold. One hundred gold. Add to the backpack. Done. That's all right. Uh. Well, the, uh, Dimas, can, wait, wait, this, wait, oh, wait, he's going to say something. Mm, yeah. Yeah, no, I was reading something else, but it's not really applic applicable. So, I can uh, read Elfish if it's like... Uh, yeah, no, 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 it's really, it's really okay. not uh, applicable. Okay. Um, so and I see a door here, right? I see a door. HP. All right. Uh, two wolves. Okay. Um, but uh, uh, where do you see a door? Yes, yes, there is definitely a door. But uh, at the at the same time, uh, Sephion is uh, venturing yeah. down, and there the door flings open, and a uh, hobgoblin comes running out, and Can looks I, Sephion straight in the face. Hey, what? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Go on. I said, and he, I said, and he, he just, uh, he just stops and takes out his, 
long sword. Uh, I don't know if you want to do that. I don't know if you know what happened in the hard house. We killed literally everybody, every creature. We're gonna give you this chance to spare your life if you're gonna tell us where the treasure is, or else we're gonna kill every single one of you. And uh, since we kill, sorry, Sephion, but he's laughing straight in your face. He's just, he just start bursting in laughter. While he's laughing, I take out my uh, my great axe and I fucking try to splice it right between his eyes because yeah, he's laughing. Yeah, you, left you me. can do that in in initiative. So you can't see in the room. You have no idea what's going on there. Um, ah, it's just one. I'll kill him. Jesus. Uh, yeah, but also what what's moving inside because they are they are getting closer to you, but you just can't see it because it's thirty feet <laughs> inside. That's that one. All right. So hobgoblin. Is uh, actually oh, wait, wait, my it didn't change again. How much did you throw? Eighteen. So it's seventeen. Yeah, dan kom je nu mee? Ga you, no, I said it earlier as well. I think I was the first one to say say it. Yeah. All right, Matt. Uh, cool. Then we well. then we start a, then we reset the round and then Sefion can actually start. There we go. Uh, okay, so I'll, uh, yeah, get the great axe and I'll, uh, uh, try to, while he's laughing, I'll try to splice him. Nice, go. And it is six plus six, it's twelve to hit. Twelve to hit, you miss. Okay. You're, yeah, you're around the corner, it's hard to, to, you can see him, you can feel each other, you can smell each other, but, um... Your great axe hits the wall instead of hitting the hobgoblin right over there. See, now you jinx it down. I don't care. So he's moving, he's uh, there, there, and then uh, it's his turn, and he's gonna try to go for Sephion. Uh, long sword, plus three. 18. Does that hit you? Yeah, that hits me. Oh. I mean, <laughs> oh, such a shame. <laughs> 1d8 plus 1. That is 7 plus 1, so that's 8 damage. And because his allies are within 5 feet of him, he does an extra 2d6 of damage. That's an oh. extra four damage, so that's we, eleven damage. For we could use a healer. <laughs> Sephion. Uh, so he's able to hit you. He sees how you are trying to hit him with your great axe, but he gets around the corner and pokes you, stabs you with his uh, with his long sword. Uh, he stabs you in the side, which hurts a bit, but uh, you can you can have it. You can handle it. Draco, what uh, what are you doing? I am moving. Okay, I can go all the way. I am going here behind. Uh, well, here. <laughs> I can oh, go past surprise. him, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can. Two creatures can pass each other on on this square of five feet. And I'll do. Steffi on a favor. I'll put Drex in front of him. Oh wow! No, and don't I'll... do that. Okay, I won't do that. I'll put Drax here. And I'll step in with my Helbert. To That's hit. 10 feet uh, across, right? Yeah, I got 10 feet reach with the Helbert. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll give you that one. That's fine. All right, to hit. Go for it. Nice. Well, I hope it's nice. 18? Yeah, that hits. Uh, this one... Plus a reaction of the... The... The, 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 oh, 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 fell on the ground, fell on the ground. Oh, wow. Eight, <laughs> eight, eight uh, slashing damage. No, wait, no, that's not true. Plus three, so 11 slashing damage 
and 5 fire damage. So 16 in total. Yeah. And uh, you, uh, with your halberd, uh, split his head in two. That's basically what you did. You heal, you you nailed him right down there on the front of his forehead, and uh, you cleave his head in two, and it just drops that to the floor. I got you, Sephion. Nice. Let's let's make a pile of goblets over there. Daimos, your turn. Um. <clears throat> Is the door open? The door is open. Okay. Ten feet. So when I move through here, I can I can see through the door, right? You can see and you look straight in the face of another hobgoblin. Okay. And uh, ju just that hobgoblin? No goblins around him? Uh, behind him you can see another hobgoblin. There's more hobgoblins, right? Yes. You uh... see that the area is quite fully packed. Um. Yeah, <laughs> <why not? laughs> I'm. I'm gonna cast another shadow, shadow spell. Like, uh, yeah, of course. So, uh, yeah, uh, not really. Throw, seen... right? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, so, uh, and how much radius is that? Okay, let me help you out over here then, and re relieve the veil. Jeez. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Please be your savior, little. Uh, uh... Well, it's yes. uh, the shadow spell has a ten feet radius. And what is your center? Um, I mean, it seems fair. I, I mean, I could. It seems not. <laughs> it seems to me not fair that you're gonna put it over there. You're Hell you're yeah. not really inside I... the room. Exactly. I was thinking the same. I was thinking just behind the first hop goblin. I think that that I would yeah I would find that fair. That that's that's yeah. that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. That's a, that's a good one for sure. So yeah, yeah. He got, technically he can't see this. Cause, yeah, cause, yeah. yeah it's gonna... like the like that's look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wall the first is in front of everything. Yeah. No, 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 the first one's gonna hit you. The second one. Hit, the second one. The first one you're gonna hit yourself as well. Yeah. Yeah. The second one. Oh yeah. The second no, just one. behind. Okay, okay second, second one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so. So they all um, need to do a saving throw. Yeah, you you can do all the saving. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> like three, rolling, right? three, four, five. There we go. Uh, all right. I'll start in uh, with the clock. This one first. That's so eight. Fourteen constitution. Yeah. Well, I... that's a ten. No, that's ten. Yeah. One. Two. Oh my God, that's a fucking good spell. Yeah. You're gonna be your savior this one, Jesus. Well, castles are pretty. If they're uh, they're weak, they're like squishy, but. I thought we were fucked, to be honest. Well, I'm... yeah. Yeah, we're still fucked, but I mean, I thought we were properly fucked. It actually gives us a chance. Because we still. So okay, it's okay. one these these right this uh, like yeah, goblin yeah. five goblin uh, I mean lupo uh, goblin thirteen goblin two and hobgoblin hobgoblin two and hobgoblin all right now constitution yeah. to it yeah. we have then uh, that's uh, nineteen yeah. and then what does a goblin have of constitution zero yeah. all right so we have. How much damage do you do? I'm gonna do that now. So 3d8. And what One was the saving throw? Four. How much did the saving throw? 14? 14. 14, yeah. All right. Go on. So the damage is 7 plus 2 plus 3. 12 damage. 12 damage. On all the fails yeah. and 6 on the saves. All right. Hold on. Uh... <clears throat> All 
Oh, so much punning. Yeah, I'm really. <laughs> Everybody's silent to see what happens. Dude, that that's good. One more, three, yeah. No, that that was it. That was it. Your shatter spell, the loud thundering noise, deafens and kills. One hobgoblin, two goblins. One goblin very much, very bad in shape. It's like bleeding from its ears. And one hobgoblin is uh, not much impressed. And by killing them, I feel um, empowered. Like the, 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 the energy of their death runs through my veins while I, I feel much more healthy. Like I actually have uh, blessed oh by the dark one. God. What and... do these? How much did you kill? Three? Three, yeah. Yeah. Nice. And then I'm walking behind Sefjorn again. <laughs> <laughs> how much life points do you have? Now? 80. I'll, Jesus. I'll... We should buy uh, Sefi on a shield, Dimas. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I think I'm gonna use him as a shield. <laughs> yeah. So for every kill you get HP. I For every kill I get, I do, I get um, my level Plus my charisma bonus as health. Nice. Uh, goblin number four is, uh, yeah, going uh, right over there on top of his dead body. Up goblin number two. Is that you? Yep. What's he gonna do? Uh, yeah. He's going to move right over here. Oh, he's going to be tactical. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> goblin number five. <laughs> uh, goblin number five is going to be standing right over there. And then we have this guy. He's going to move over there. Sefion! I'm going to, of course, uh, walk around the corner. With my uh, shiny black axe, and I'm gonna splice it uh, into goblin number five. All right, yes, nice. Go, go, go. And I throw uh, seven plus six, so uh, that's 13. 13, you miss the goblin Again. with your great axe. He's a bit too small. You're now used to hobgoblins which are much taller so and this one I just told... jumped away what you jinxed me earlier you jinxed all of us now it's going much better for you and much worse for me <laughs> yeah no much better i throw a two a three a six a five how better how i have not thrown above 10 except for two three times i think but hey it's the dice it's the dice. If they want to play it like that, yeah, they dice can deal. play it like that. You need that. to buy new dice. Uh, yeah. I have three sets of dice. My girlfriend's <laughs> gonna fucking kill me. So you need to buy the the weighted dice that they have. Yeah, use my <laughs> girlfriend's dog dice. They're gonna be there for the next session. Good. Goblin number one, where are you? Right over here. Jumps from the side. Is he now? Is he gonna? Jump in front of a hobgoblin. Yeah, he's gonna be right over there. It's gonna be so packed. <laughs> and he's uh, gonna try to hit you with his scimitar. And that's 13 to hit. So he misses because the table was in the way. Number three. Sees all this happens and gets closer behind his friends. Number one. It's 11. It's so cramped in there. Can't even yeah. see which one is alive and which one is dead. But it doesn't matter. He stays there. It's all good. Draco! Alright. <clears throat> Draco moves over here. 
and he says, I'm sorry about this, Seth Young, but it has to be done. And I u use my breath weapon. It's a cone of 15 feet. No, you're going to hit Seth Young. <laughs> <laughs> so, 15 this one, feet, so this it, yeah, all the way all in front of you. Yeah, well, I cannot draw, but it's like... This, Maybe these I all can, get hit. For that then. Except this one, that's the only one that doesn't get hit. So I'm gonna blow. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna blast. Go, 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 go. Well, he pushed me aside, right? So no, 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 you're gonna get hit as well. Oh. If I push you outside, it's gonna be a. Uh, I, I have to use an action for that. Uh, so a go like think... this, right? And then yeah, can the can the duck? <laughs> It's only D10, you can take it. So yeah, how exactly. would you like to, like... Well, a little bit more towards, like, angled others. Like, I'm not going to blast the wall, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Angle, this one is going to angle like this. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. There this you one? Go. This one doesn't get hit. He's safe. Let me see. Like this? Yeah, sure, yeah. Goblin 2 is safe. That's the only one that's safe. Alright, so everything in here... Gets a d10 force damage. Uh, I don't need to throw for something? You don't need to hit? Yes, it automatically yes. Hits? You need to, yeah, yeah, it automatically hits. Uh, DC 10 dexterity save. Uh, on a fail, you get half. On the not a DC fail, you get... DC 10 dexterity save. So everybody except uh, goblin number two. All right, goblin number. Two. I'm gonna write it down because it's, it's a ten, by the way. Oh my I, god! I go fourteen. One second. And, you get five uh, damage then. Wait, I don't know what my modifier is gonna do. It doesn't matter. It's fourteen is above ten, so you you get five damage. Oh, my modifier is minus one, so thirteen. Oh, okay. that way. Yeah, like that. Okay, yeah. So how much damage did I get? You get five damage. Okay. Motherfucker, that burns! I'm fucking one out right there. Damn it. Oftewel, één goblin staat nog overeind aan de andere kant van de kamer, uh, on the other side of the room. Another goblin is crawling over the floor out of pain. And there is one hobgoblin also crawling on the floor. And the rest just is completely smacked against the floors. Smacked over the tables. Everything yeah. is dead. Yeah. What you're gonna do? Um, Drex? Drex has, has uh, oh, some... Oh yeah, he does have uh, action. Drex uh, moves in. Yeah, and bites the hobgoblin that's crawling on the floor in pain right in the face. Just right in the face, all right. Right in the face, why not? You don't even have to uh, uh, throw for a hit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nine. Nine. So <laughs> he throw again because the hobgoblin is crawling on the floor. You have advantage. 19! 19! So you gr bite him in the face and you don't have to throw for damage because it was 1 HP. Okay. <laughs> Drake has a nice snack. One nice. goblin left crawling on the floor and one goblin still standing. Which is goblin number two, right? Uh, sees the whole massacre, sees everything and is like, you know what? Fuck you. And, uh... Pulls out a grenade and blows everything up. <laughs> moves away. <laughs> Gets out. I'm uh, sorry, uh, Sophie, I had to do this, man. And then it's uh, Sephion. Please roleplay the goblin you want to hit, because I have no idea which one it is, where it is, or what. It's right there, straight in front of you, crawling. Trying to get away from you. I take the hobgoblin up from the ground. 
I'll uh, lift it up. I walk to uh, uh, Draco. I take out my knife. I'll nod. And... I'll just nod. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, here. Uh, and I throw the goblin at him. And while I throw him, I slice his throat. So he has the <laughs> bleeding goblin. Uh, and he cannot do anything but like, huh? So he has all the blood over him again. Fuck sake! Step your arm with your blood on me again. I mean, you're happy that it's only blood and I'm not taking this knife. I'm not happy with being fucking burned. Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't... I'm, did I ever hurt you? Well, you throw water at me, so... Never mind. Kind of, kind of hurt my feelings. So, uh, 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 just saying... It's at me. But seriously, um, the fact that I'm uh, any, any any other person who do who do that seriously, seriously, it's counterbalance, Sefia. Counterbalance. It's like twenty of them. You want me to? You want to hit them one by one on the head, bonk them, or you want me to blast them all at once? Well, I wasn't having my day anyway. Fuck it. It's it's fine. I mean, uh, and I heal myself for. Uh... 11 point. Let me see if I still have 11. Uh, it's it's fine. And oh no, I only have 36. Huh? I heal myself for uh, uh, 12 points. And um, you look a bit around in this, uh, like, Massive what looks room. like lunch room, little tavern they built for themselves in this castle, and uh, the castle turns deadly silent. And all three of you look around, and it's one dead goblin after another. Blood on the floor floor there's blood against the um walls because with the damage that draco did a lot of goblins have been splashed against the walls um you find a couple of ears somewhere some fingers some hands um it's one big mess it's very bloody but the whole castle is completely silent right now and um, you actually all three look quite achieved at yourself yeah feels good yeah I think we did it um, wasn't there I, I, one I, I, more goblin I'm just saying I saw something running uh, in that direction and I pointed <laughs> this way alright go grab it uh, people, Sefia, wanna... you want to have the more pleasure of killing stuff? Yeah, I will, uh, uh, yeah, but uh, out of character, I also want to quit soon because it's uh, 15 minutes past 11. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yes, need, I saw uh... that. Uh, right. so, it's still uh... a very main Kragma Castle uh, session, but that's okay. Uh, how much? No, uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, uh... Is it uh, still much more to kill, or do you think it's done soon? The castle is wanna... silent, like... We can save in this room, we'll just... Do... Continue. You know what, Sefion, with that question, do me, like, uh, a perception check. Or an investigation check, like, investigate the area a bit, try to see if you can get in the mind of the goblin to see what was going on over here well ever since uh, uh, you jinxed me it's going really bad because I uh, roll a natural fuck off one. with your jinx if anybody's jinx is your DM <laughs> <laughs> so stop I, I, crying I, I, otherwise I'm gonna play some violin music for you so you can really cry and shower naked in a corner <laughs> I'm not used to throwing so low and not hitting anything in like so many consecutive turns anyway I now throw a natural one again Natural one. All right. So you are standing on top of the table. You're looking around and you put your hand to your beard and you stroke it a bit and you look around. 
and you look very intelligent and then you say you look at Daimos and you say you know what I think this room was full of goblins <laughs> no <laughs> you think so With a very serious face uh, <laughs> is what he says to you Was not your best day, Sefion. Also, this morning when you just killed uh, Gundren uh, <laughs> after twenty-seven seconds, yeah, <laughs> you've you've had better days. <laughs> Anybody else? At least you got new shiny eggs. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean uh, just one question. Uh, once Azrael come back, can we just say that the double ganger killed him or <laughs> something like that? Because I mean, he was just starting to like me a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> Wait a minute. You, aren't you just the one that you hate people that lie and now you're asking us to lie? He is asking us that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean I'm I'm down to play that game that 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 and show. Not promising a thing. I mean because I mean to be honest, you would look a lot better if we would just say that uh, uh, he was killed by uh, the doppelganger, and that we killed the doppelganger, then we're gonna tell the truth and who had which idea. Just saying. All us sleep over it. And it's not laughing. <laughs> um, um, is that important? To, 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 I mean, investigate the, 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 the whole room. Investigate the whole room. Okay, I'll do it as well then. Yeah. Oh. I'll use another die. Ten total. And I got plus four. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So when Draco sees Sephion gets on and, and make the statement that this room was full of goblins, you get into that and say like, you know, I I think if I put one and one together, it feels like these goblins and hobgoblins pulled back in one area where they might think that they would be the strongest together and wait for help to come. That help might have been the warband that we met on our way. And... By that, it kind of makes sense what happened here today. But uh, the three of you, and of course Drake, was uh, much too strong for a castle like this. Okay. I think there's only one left, and he ran to that, that over there. Let's check it out then. Lead the yeah. way. Let's make sure there's none left. <laughs> so you yeah. start the pursuit. Yeah. 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 Just gonna walk there. I can see my character between all of that. Oh wait, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes, Sefion. I'm gonna <clears throat> go into this room. How you flow through walls? Oh, sorry. over the trap! <laughs> like, oh. sorry, a bit realistic might might be nice. Uh, I think I, I I think yeah. Sometimes yeah. Do you need to let it go before you see it, or you can always pick us? I don't know. Never mind. You're right. Because I think it went. Daimos think... continues on. Sees three bats in the tower. Looks through the arrow slit. Has a nice view on the bushes on the sideline. Uh, Sephion, you can't go through through that rubble. That's oh, way I'm too sorry. high. That's all. That's oh, so you oh, need to go oh. through that door there if you want to. Like to investigate these beds, see if there's any old socks filled with some coins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Of course. Go for it. Uh, then sixteen. Sixteen. All right. You find some old socks for sure, but uh, they are nasty smelling and old. But all right, right, one right. pillow, you actually find uh, one copper piece. Could have oh, been yeah. a lucky coin of one of the goblins. Oh, Saved it because it. he once got it from his father goblin and he treasured it with all his life because once he wanted to be a goblin farmer but, well, didn't look that good for him, didn't it? 
Is it an actually magically embursed lucky coin? Can I write it down like that or not? Uh, <laughs> for the goblin, it was. For you, it's just a okay. copper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just try to. I, I tried to put a bit of sentimental value in the slaughter that you all just did. It were creatures yeah. with also alive. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh... All right. So, Sefion, you are uh, on to the most northwest tower. I'm gonna feel the door. Feel the door. All right, go for it. Feel the door. If it's open, is it, can, it's, can it, I, can yeah, I... it's not locked. It's open. Well, then I open. Want. Then I step in. You step in, and in that area, you uh, you see that uh, it's a small area. And if you look through the arrow slit, you have a nice view on the front door and the front terrace. Well, then I go back and I feel the other door. And you yeah. open that door up as well. I do that, and I do the same over here. All right. So, Draco, you open up that door, and you find also a very small room with the arrow slit looking straight down upon the terrace of the front door. And Sefion, on the other side, still in the northwest tower, opens up a door and gets into a stacked room filled with barrels and uh, what looks like very old provisions that have not been touched looks like it's full of cobwebs and everything so it's and then i open the other door another door where you go in and you see four beds to your left hand side it uh, looks like uh, an area with also an arrow slit where you can look through and you look straight into the forest and you have a nice overview with a bit of a crumbled down wall but you cannot look over it on that side so okay. it looks like the whole castle is now completely empty and done for. Well, uh, I'll say uh, we'll, uh, we'll bunk down here for the night, I guess, yeah. and then head back tomorrow at dawn. I mean, there's a room here. If we bar the door, then nobody can get in and we'll save and we can have a sleep. Yeah, sounds great. I'm exhausted after the fighting and I... Take some wood from the other room, and I use oh, that to oh, a oh, nice God, good carry. a nice long rest because, of course, this took the whole day. It's now quite late, quite late at night, and Crackma Castle is right now ours done. King of the castle, king of the castle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoever chair, king of the castle. <laughs> Whoever chair. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah okay uh good yeah you uh you intervened with the goblin hobgoblin warband that was uh, on its way back to the castle and um after the gruesome fight uh trying to get the owlbear back uh, the grick of course um was part of the goblins so he would not attack the goblins so together with the grick the goblins were able to kill the owlbear, but not before the owlbear was doing a lot of damage to all these goblins. And then after this massacre, they found King Grawl dead. And the, they didn't know what to do. So Lupo, which was the high priest of the castle, decided to hide in the most southern biggest room and wait for help to come because they knew that the warband with Targor Blood Sword who had a keen eye on uh, being maybe the leader once of this whole gang, uh, would soonly return from their scouting. They would wait for them to see what orders could be revealed, but uh, you heard them coming, you intervened, and then you murdered, slaughtered every single one, except for one goblin who got away. And then now you blocked yourself inside the most northwestern tower where you actually have a bit of view through one arrow slit uh, into the forest. And you all are going to take a long rest. So far, Chapter 10. Thank you for listening and see you next time. Bye-bye.